in this video I want to talk about negative and fractional indices. Now these are the two rules. Uh, x to the power negative n is 1 over x to the power n. This is a negative index. Okay, so when you have a negative index, this negative index can change to positive when it goes from the numerator to the denominator. Now here, x is sitting in the numerator. So if x moves from the numerator to the denominator, it changes the sign of the index or the power. Here, this is a fractional index. x over x raised to 1 over n is equal to nth root of x. So this is not n times x. This is nth root of x. I'll talk about this later. So let us start with this uh, negative index. That is the best way to learn any rule is to uh, make up some examples and uh, try to understand it. So we're talking about negative index or negative indices. Okay, so let us start with a simple example. Say what happens if it is say 2 to the power negative 3. So applying this rule, this is sitting in the numerator. Okay, so now the rule tells me that if this number goes to the denominator, this negative index will become positive. So this is same as writing 1 over 2 cube, okay, which is nothing but 2 cube is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, and 1 8 as a decimal is 0 0.125. Now how do I know that? Because 1 quarter I know is 0 0.25, so 1 8 is 0 0.125. So let us check this on a calculator. 1, so you go 2 raised to negative 3 equal. This is 0 0.125, and uh, this is, if you change this into, this is 1 8. One, this is a fraction, and 1 8, you can understand, is 2 to the power 3. Okay, so let me take one more example, or next example, which is 5 to the power negative 2. Now, whenever you listen to my videos, I would like you to stop and do uh, the example yourself and then play and see whether you're getting the right answer. So applying the same rule, you can stop now and write the next step. So this is 1 over 5 squared, which is 1 over 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 1 over 25. Now I want to write this as a decimal, 1 over 25, and multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 4. So if you multiply this by 4, okay, let me do that as a next step. So 1 over 25 is same as 1 times 4 over 25 times 4. Now the reason I'm doing this is to change this as a decimal. So this is 4 out of 100. And 4 out of 100 is, as a decimal is, 0 0.04. So let us check this on a calculator. So you go 5 raised to negative 2 equal. This is 0 0.04. And if you want to change that as a fraction, this is 1 over 25. This is a fraction key. FD stands fraction to decimal and decimal to fraction. OK. Let us take one more example. Say, let me change color. So this is, say, uh, 3 over 5, 3 over 5 to the whole power of negative 2. Now here we had applied the, uh, the rules of laws of indices. So here the power is 1, and here the power is 1. So you, when you've got a power of a power, you multiply the power. So this is 1 times negative 2 is 3 to the power negative 2 over 5 to the power negative 2. So applying the same rule, this will become positive, or this negative index will become positive if this whole thing goes down. Or this, if 3 goes down, this negative power will become positive. The same logic applies here. If this has to become positive, this 5 has to go up. So the next step would look like this. This is 5 squared over 3 squared. The same principle, if anything is in the numerator and has got a negative power, it moves its place. Okay, so it's like changing gear. So if you change place, 
the gear changes. So this is a power. So gear you can understand as a power. So this is 25 out of 8. 24 over. Oh, 24 over. This is 3 squared. Yeah, it's 9. Okay. 3 squared is 9. So 25 over 9. So let us check this on the calculator. So this if you want to write as a mixed number. So 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 7 is. So this is 2 and 7 9th. So let us do this. So I'll go like this. 3 a, B, C, 5, raised to negative 2. This is 25 over 9. Okay, and if you want to change that as a decimal, this is this number. Okay, and this is 25 over 9. Okay, so one more example. It's a number 4. Okay, what is what if it is 2... Okay, 5 over 2, 5 over 2 to the power negative 3. Okay, so this applying the law of index. So this is power of power. So this is 5 to the power negative 3 over 2 to the power negative 3. So the same thing applied. This goes up and this comes down. So this is 2 to the power 3 over 5 to the power 3. Now 2 to the power 3 is 8 and 5 to the power 3 is 125. So one, 8 over 125 is the answer. So let's check that. So you go 5 ABC2 raised to negative 3. That gives me 8 over 125. You can change that as a decimal like this. This is 0 0.064. Okay. Now, the final question is if number 5. Okay, so let me mix this up. Suppose it is 8y squared over 5x cubed to the power negative 2. To the power negative 2. So you can pause the video and try to do it yourself. Okay. So yeah. Uh, hopefully you have paused and done it yourself. So this is how you do. So this has a power of 1. This has a power of 1. So this is a power of power. Now this has to be multiplied to each of the power inside the bracket. So this is 8 to the power. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Over y to the power negative 4. Over y to the power negative 2 over x to the power negative 6. So the negative power, if it changes its place, will become positive. So this 2 will come down and this 2 will go up. So this becomes 5 squared times x to the power 6 over 8 squared over y to the power 4. It's simple. Basically, what you're changing the place, changing the power. So this is 5 squared is 125. 5 squared is not 125, sorry. 5 squared is 25. So this is 25 x to the power 6 over 64 y to the power 4. Now this, you can't do it on a calculator. Now just to check the numbers, you can check this on a calculator. This is... Uh, 25 over 64. This, of course, can't be done. Let's only check partially. So this is a good way to check. So you can go 8 ABC5 raised to negative 2. What happens? This is 25 over 64. So we are right there. Okay. So let me scroll up. So let me talk about uh, the fractional power, uh, fractional index. So let me write the rule. X to the power the rule says like this, x to the power 1 over n is equal to nth root of x. Okay, now this sounds to be really scary, but this is not that uh, difficult as it seems to be. So, what does this mean? So, this means 25 raised to 1 half 
means that is square root of 25. Now I hope you know square root of 25 by default. It should be plus or minus 5. So let me write the so this should be plus or minus 5. So if you write only 5, you are 50% right. Okay. So because because y plus or minus 5 because plus 5 squared because square root is opposite of square. Plus 5 squared is 25 and negative 5 squared is also 25 because negative times negative gives you positive. So if you write plus 5, that's fine. That's only uh, part of the truth or half truth. The complete truth is this. So let us check this on a calculator. So you go 25 raised to 1 ABC2. Okay, that is 5. Okay, or you go square root, uh, is square root, there it is, so shift square root of 25 is also 5. Okay, the calculator gives you only the, by default, the positive square root, but as a math student, you should know it is both plus and minus. Okay, so yeah, so let us take one more example, 8, root, eight to the power 1 third means this is the cube root of 8. And the cube root of 8 is, uh, if cube root of 5, 25 is 5 squared, because 5 squared, sorry, 20, square root of 25 is 5, because 25 is 5 squared. So if you think about cube root of 8, can 8 be written as a cube of a number? So yes, we know that 2 cube is 8. So cube root of 28, sorry, cube root of 8 would be 2. So let us do this on a calculator. So let me delete this. Uh, 8 raised to, I'll put this in the bracket, 1 ABC3, which is 2. Or how did you cube cube root on a calculator? This is the key of cube root, the power key. So you press 3 first, 3 shift cube root. So this is cube root of 8 is equal to 2. Okay. Okay, let me do one more example. Say uh, 100 raised to 3 over 2. Now, applying the, we can do this also without the rule, but let us apply the rule and then I'll show you how to do without applying the rule. So, this is nothing but can I write this, applying the rule, can I write this as 10, sorry, 100 raised to half raised to 3. So because C half times 3 is same as 3 halves or 3 over 2. This is something many students don't understand. Half times 3 because 3 is 3 over 1. So when you're multiplying fractions you add the top numbers and the bottom numbers. So and in applying the rule of power power of power has to be multiplied. So half times 3 is same as 3 halves. So now applying this rule, 10 to the power square root, uh, 10 to the power half is nothing but square root of 100 to the power 3. And square root of 100 is 10. Uh, it is 10. It can be plus or minus 10. Okay, so let me do the complete row that is plus or minus 10 to the power 3. Okay, so this has got two answers. Okay, I didn't think about this. So this can be written as plus 10 cube or minus 10 cube. And plus 10 cube is, calculator will give you only one answer by default. It will only give you the positive answer. This is 1000 and this is negative 1000. Okay, so how can you do this without the whole step? Can we do this in a different way? So if you want to do this in a different way, can we write this as 100? 100 can be written as 10 squared raised to 3 half can be written as 1.5. Or you can write 3, 3 over 2. And this is same as 10 to the power 2 times 1.5. And 2 times 1.5 is... 10 to the power 3, which is 1,000. 
Okay. So let us check this on a calculator. 1000. So I think I've taken too much of time. So let me finish it off. So the question was uh, 10 raised to so 10. No, it's 100 raised to 100. So let me put this in a bracket. 100 raised to, I'll again this 3 over 2 is 1000. 